Good morning everyone. Today is Saturday the 12th, I don't need to double check, of June. I hope that you're all well. Oh, I'm just tired of stretch. Ooh, I did not sleep the best last night. It was very hot in our room. Mario fell asleep very quickly and then decided to sleep in the middle of the bed. Yeah, so that was kind of annoying. And then I got annoyed at him, even though he was asleep and I had no right to be annoyed at him, but I got annoyed at him because then I couldn't sleep. And so I didn't get sleep till gone one. And then I woke up when his alarm went off at quarter six, so, and I haven't been back to sleep, so. I don't know if you can tell, I tried to cover it with makeup the best that I can. The lip spot, is kind of still there but not as bad as it was and uh, yeah so today exciting day we have the Warmonty shop update that's happening at 12 it's currently five to nine but before then I have my final batch of advent calendars going live at nine o'clock this morning very exciting it's going to be the final chance that anyone can get their hands on a karate Yarns advent calendar for this year and um, yes, yeah, so I'm very excited about that. It should be good. Yes. Always a little bit nervous. I won't lie. It's just kind of how I am with shop updates and stuff. I always get a little bit nervous. I always get a little bit worried. Um, I'm always panicked that everyone's going to hate it and blah, blah, blah. But anyway, so I decided to talk to you. Oh, I painted my nails orange. It's not a very me color. I don't tend to go orange, but you know what? It's summer and I like them. So, I, I thank you everyone for watching the Speedweave video. I'm glad that you liked it and found it somewhat interesting. Whilst I was editing that video, I found another hole in my hat. So, did a bit more mending. I don't know if it was either dust mites in our bedroom because this hat fell down um, the back of a dresser at some point. But we did also have moths in our old house, so yeah, somebody's been having a having a good old time munching through this hat, but that's fine. I won't let it fall anywhere this time, because yeah, I didn't discover it for ages. So, um, plan for today is make sure the shop update's happening and everything's ticking over fine. I need to label all the yarn and I also have another advent colour that I need to twist so um, I'm just gonna sit here for a little bit longer might get myself a drink because I haven't had anything to drink yet this morning and I'm a little bit thirsty um, but yeah I'll sit here just for a little bit make sure that the advent calendar shop update goes well ticking over um, and all the people who yeah I have to like adjust quantities as I go because I, I don't know how many people want to buy full price versus paying in installments, so I once one sells out, I kind of take some from one and put it in another and blah, blah, so um, yeah, I'm going to sit and do that and get myself a drink of something. Um, I think I might treat myself this evening to playing a bit of The Sims. Mario has a very early night tonight because he has an early start tomorrow, so I might treat myself to a bit of The Sims because, you know, business owners are allowed free time too. And uh, yeah, right. I'm gonna go because it's only it's it's 8:58, so stuff's gonna go live soon. And... Okay, I didn't need to be so worried. They're selling much slower than other ones have done, but also this is the third lot I've put up, so I'm not surprised. I just took the time to write a cheeky little newsletter that will be sent out when my shop update is live. And yeah, there's time zones and all sorts. And it's pretty early in the morning, in all fairness, on a very sunny Saturday. So I'm not surprised. My I was sat cross-legged and now my foot is dead and I've stood up and that was a mistake. Um, yeah, I feel so <laughs> I feel really tired. I'm not gonna go on about it all day. I need to have some caffeine, so let's go make a cup of tea.
right, so it's been a little bit since I last spoke to you. Um, I've just been taking it pretty chill. Uh, packaging, like packaging up the Stitch Marker Club and labeling the Yarn Club because I'm going to be packaging them and the shop orders all together just in case anybody wants to combine them because I'm still well within the time. Um, the plan is to do some packaging tomorrow and then finish either uh, finish it off on Monday or Tuesday. I don't know how many orders I'm going to get. My only issue, non-issue really, is that I'm booked in for my vaccine on Monday at 9 a.m. So it's very early in the morning. So I'm worried that any side effects will hit when I need to be packaging and stuff. Also it gets hot up there so I can only do it for a few hours a day. But um, yeah, I'm going to aim to try to get them all out the house by Wednesday at the latest. Fingers crossed. Um, once again, depending on how many orders I receive. It is now three minutes until the shop update. Um, I'm feeling very nervous, I'm feeling very antsy. Once the shop update is done and I've um, shared links and whatnot, I think I'm gonna go out for a walk. The sun has come out. There are still some clouds around, it's still very windy. So I've got quite short shorts. Well, not like Daisy Duke's shorts, but I've got quite short shorts on. So I might switch to something a bit longer. I get a bit self-conscious, I don't know. Um, I don't know why. I don't have like awful legs, but you know, there's nothing muscly about them, especially because I've not gone for a run in about six weeks. You know when I said, hey, I don't want to finish Couch 5K and then just stop running? Well, that's kind of exactly what I did. I just kind of stopped going for, a, stopped going for runs. I went for a run on um, the Wednesday after I finished. I finished on a Friday and then went for a run, I uh, finished on a Monday, sorry, and then went for a run on the Wednesday. And it was a great run. I felt so good afterwards. I felt so pleased with myself. And then I just didn't go for a run again. So um, that's actually really annoying really frustrating because I really enjoyed that run so why I didn't continue running I do not know yeah if you don't know my I got a new mug did I talk about this in the last one I've got a new mug silver spot ceramics but it was just sat next to my <laughs> the little girl, grey girl um, project bag and I was like oh anyone would think I like donuts I mean you can also tell by looking at me but um yeah in here I have my everyday slouchy beanie I've been doing a little bit of knitting on but not too much um, and I've been putting a bit more of a dent into these socks that I'm knitting. I need to block my jumper that I recently finished and I really want to cast on the Lodestar, Lodestar? That's my German accent coming out. I'm not German, I speak German. Um, jumper which is the latest pom-pom because Selena of uh, Through the Wardrobe Yarn Co and I are going, are going to be doing a bit of an informal knit along, the Lotus load, load load star along, I think is what I named the hashtag. Oh God, TikTok is playing. I also went on TikTok for a short period of time. Um, but now the shop update is live, the shop update is live. Um, so I need to post that the shop update is live on Instagram. So I'm just gonna take a, an excited picture of my face because I've got makeup on today, so why wouldn't I? And then I, so I share on Instagram, I add a swipe up link because I can, if you've got over 10,000 followers then you can add a swipe up link, that is a thing you can do. And now I am going on my website to double check that everything is live, everything is okay. Um, because sometimes I've put stuff in the shop or put stuff to go in the shop and then I forgot to set it to live or what have you. Um, so let's go to stitch markers first. They're all good. Yeah, looking good. That's exciting. Okay, and then yarn as well. Yeah, looks like they're all in the shop. So that is very good. Uh, thank you so much to everyone who is already purchasing. This is bananas. Stuff is already selling out. This is ridiculous. But yes, I'm just going to ignore my phone and not look at it and be pleasantly surprised when I do look at my phone because um, otherwise I'll never go anywhere. So I'm going to go for a walk, I think. Let's go for a little walk, boodoodaloo, under the moon of love. It's in the middle of the day, there is no moon. So I've just, I'm glad I didn't just put my phone down and ignore everything because I've just realized that I had two listings for Gift of Loth, Gift for Loth on Merino Sock. And had they both sold? 
that would have been disastrous because I don't actually have that, I don't think, I don't know how much merino sock I have left in stock because my stockist has been out for months. <sighs> Which is really annoying because I really need to get some more. But um, yeah. yeah, yeah. Stuff is so, stuff is so. So I went for my walk and it was lovely. I ended up walking past a little Tesco, so I got myself a cheeky Tesco meal deal, which I've just eaten, delicious. But whilst I was munching my lunch, um, I got a text from Mario to say that someone he works with has tested positive for COVID. So I need to do a lateral flow test. We have some at home and I've just ordered some more because Mario does them fairly re regularly because he's still in the city center working. But he's off to get a proper test. Proper test. They're both proper tests, but you know what I mean. Like a, I'm just going to say proper test. Um, after he finishes work today. So he can see what the hippity hap is. He has been vaccinated, but he, it's only been a week. And it doesn't cover you that much. Um, and I'm due to get vaccinated on Monday. So I need to do a COVID test. Kind of annoying. But hey, th these things happen. Thank you to everyone who has so far shot the shop update. I need to plug my phone in and charge it because I've just been watching videos on it all day. Thank you so much to everyone who has placed an order thus far. But I'm going to sit and chill out for a little bit because I don't think you can take the COVID test close to eating. So I'm going to do the test in half an hour to an hour or so. Uh, my bedroom, my um, craft room is going to be far too hot now to do anything because the sun is out. So I think I'm just going to go on The Sims. And have a nice time or knit or do something. I could even have a nap. I could even have a nap. Options. There are so many options ahead of me. So I just gotta choose one. Okay. So I didn't have a nap. I had to lay down um for about a quarter of an hour, but I didn't fall asleep. So I thought if I'm not gonna fall asleep in that time, I'm not gonna have a nap. So what I am going to do is I'm going to do this lateral flow test now and um then get the results in about half an hour. Oh goodness, I tied my hair up and now it's gone like this. So yeah, um, I'm really bad at doing these lateral flow tests. It always makes me sneeze and it always makes me gag and it's very annoying, but hey, it's gotta be done, so I'm gonna do it. I'm not gonna film it though because it's not like the most, it's not the nicest thing to film, so. I'm just gonna, uh, yeah. Slight change of plan. Um, the box seemed to have been moved from where I last put it, so I'm going to ask Mario when he gets home if he knows where it is in case he's moved it and put it somewhere else. Oh, it might be in one of these drawers actually. I found it. I feel like I've accidentally changed the settings on my camera because I look very blue. I need to work out what that is, but I've done my test. Um, so now I just need to wait for 30 minutes to see. I sneezed, I gagged, it was not pleasant. It's the third time I've done this test and it has not got easier, so I'm gonna play The Sims for a bit. I feel like I've earned it. A new Sim expansion, Sims 4 expansion pack has been announced and I am very excited about it. Cottage living. There are llamas, there are bunnies, there are chicken. Oh my goodness, it's all happening. I'm very excited, but yeah. At the minute, the test is looking like it's negative, but you have to wait the full 30 minutes until you actually get an answer set in stone, but at the minute, it's looking negative, which is good. I changed the white balance. I have now fixed it, so I look less blue. Okay, good. It wasn't as difficult as I thought it would be to uh, fix. So I'm up in the office. I'm just printing off some yarn labels because I've got yarn to label, but I'm not doing it now because it's so hot up here, I can't even put it into words. Um, but this is the yarn that I have dyed up to knit my Lotus Star out of. So I'm gonna cake up a couple of skeins now, um, see if I can alternate them as I go. I don't know if I'll be able to, but it will be fun to try. And yeah, I aimed for red, but it ended up more of a raspberry color, but I don't mind it, I don't hate it. So yeah, I'm gonna twist that up now. I might regret this decision. It does mean that downstairs will be much cooler once I get back down there. <sighs> I 
Okay, so I just had a bit of a chat with Mario. He and his co-workers, except for the one who tested positive, have all tested negative. Fantastic. I've also come out as negative. Fantastic. Um, there's talks that they might have to close for 10 days to all self-isolate, so... Quite frustrating, but hey, such is life. Um, and yeah, I only caked up one skein because I remembered that um, gauge swatches are a thing and I always do a swatch, so um, that's the plan for right now is to do my little swatchy swatch. So this is what I'm going to be knitting, the Lo Lotus Star. It's a pattern by Kirsten Rovetta. Kirsten? Kirsten? And apologies for the pronunciation, but it's so nice. And you've got these little spiky bits. And then, yeah, I might do my full length sleeve. I might make it a bit longer in the body. Um, I've dyed up six skeins, so we'll see how far that gets me. I can always dye up more if I need to. So I will work off, I will do my gauge squats, gauge swatch or tension square, whatever you call it, and uh, see if it if it lines up, if it's the right size, but yeah. Mary's on his way home, we're gonna have pizza for dinner, so I need to get some pizza dough out the freezer. And we're going to try doing pizza from the barbecue. See how that goes, I'm excited. But yeah. The tiredness is kicking in now. I might have to have a Diet Coke, but I am still drinking 7-Up, but I might have to put that back in the fridge and uh, get a Diet Coke because I need the caffeine. So I don't know if it's weird me explaining this, because maybe some people don't know. So before you cast on your knitting project, especially if you're doing something that needs to fit you, if you're doing something like a shawl, that's a bit different. You've got a bit of wiggle room. I don't tend to swatch for a shawl or for hats, which is stupid because I have a giant head, so I really should swatch for hats. Um, but if you're knitting something like a top or a jumper or a skirt or anything like that that has like measurements that need to fit, um, do a tension square or gauge swatch. Basically what this means is that you, it, it, bleh. Basically what this means is uh, it will tell you what needle sizes you need to use to get the exact same kind of fabric that the designer got, gets. Um, for example, I always use this example. My dear friend and love of my life, Becky, Becky Sorensen, aka Soprano Knits, is a knitwear designer. Um, she knits continental, whereas I knit English, and um, her tension is very different to mine. She's a much looser knitter than I am, so I have to use a larger needle size to get the same fabric. As a general rule of thumb, I have to go up two needle sizes. So, say for example, she uses a size, oh, I don't know, a 3.25 millimeter knitting needle. I then have to go up to a 3.75. Um, yeah, from 3.5 to 3.75, just to get the same fabric, and that way it fits the same. So, the way that you do this is usually in a pattern it says over X amount of rows and X amount of stitches, rows, stitches, um, it will measure 10 centimeters is the norm, four inches. Um, and so, you can knit a square of about that size. If you are knitting in the round, you meant to swatch in the round. I'm really bad and don't tend to swatch in the round. I tend to swatch flat. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, and then you can block that out and see if you get the measurements that you need to get. Because otherwise, if you knit, if I were to knit one of Becky's patterns using the needle size that I would, if I was using the needle size that she says, I would end up knitting something that would be like this big. So. There you go. And if you find that your swatch is much bigger than it's meant to be, you need to go down a needle size. If you find your swatch is smaller than it needs to be, you need to go up a needle size. Yeah. I hope that's helpful to someone out there. I don't know if it is. I'm sure many people already know this information, but it's always handy to have a reminder. Hey folks, so, Mary's bakery is gonna have to close for about 10 days and they all have to self-isolate. But he's not testing positive, so I don't have to self-isolate. It's all very confusing. Um, so I can still go out and about and do shopping and whatnot. Um, but he can't go anywhere, so yeah. 
that's kind of annoying. But, um, hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. They've managed to make it this far without having to close. That's quite impressive, so. Such is life, such is life. Uh, but yes, now we are going to go and make the pizza and then, yeah, that's it, probably, so. Thank you so, so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please feel free to give it a thumbs up and to subscribe. I post multiple times a week. It would be lovely if you would stick around and join the party in the corner of craft. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you've got up to this past weekend. I'd love to hear from you. The vloggy check-in, we love to see it. And uh, yeah, if you'd like to follow me on social media, links as always can be found in the description box below. And with all that being said, Thank you so, so much for watching. It's been great spending the day with you. Absolutely delightful. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.